Hey everyone, so today we are going to look into one more application of differential equations and that is nothing but a tank problem or the mixing problem. Now suppose you are working in a chemical factory or chemical industry and you have such large turbines or containers which contain some solution and you are mixing that solution with some chemical okay and then the process is happening and suppose you want to determine at a given time what is the amount of chemical in that solution or suppose you want to see what is the amount of drug in my organs okay or you want to find what is the amount of pollutant in the lake then when you have such kind of problems like you can see the mixing is going on in that such in such scenarios differential equations help us so i'm going to answer all these questions with the help of this single tank why i'm saying single tank because when you have more than one tank so this is called as one tank problem when you have more than one tank two tank three tank problems in that case you will have more than one differential equations and then you should know the system of differential equations so that we will talk in our coming lectures but today we are going to stick to a very simple case where you have only one tank so here you have a tank it contains some water suppose initially it contains 1000 gallons of water and it contains some salt suppose it contains 100 pounds of salt okay now suppose from here this is the inlet and this is the outlet suppose at inlet the water is coming at the rate of 10 gallons per minute and here out from outside from the outlet the mixture is flowing also say at the same rate 10 gallons per minute and now here water is flowing at the rate of 10 gallons per minute and each gallons contain 5 pounds of salt ok so from here the mixture usually instead of mixture people also use this the word brine ok so the mixture is coming here and from here the mixture is going out ok and the inlet and outlet they open at the same time at the same time and this mixture is stirring uniformly so we have all these good good conditions ok now question is if y of t represents the amount of salt present in the given tank at the given time then question is what is the formula so if i want to say what is the amount of salt so i know initially y of 0 initially the amount of salt present is 100 pound suppose i want to see what is the amount how much is the salt present after 10 minutes or 15 minutes and so on so can you give me such formula answer is yes so let's try to derive the formula so we need to first model this problem and when you model this problem differential equation comes into the picture okay so if y of t is the amount of salt present what will dy by dt represents it represent the rate at which the amount of salt is changing and how do you find the rate at which the amount of salt is changing you see at what rate the salt is coming in and you see at what rate the salt goes out right and once you find the difference you know at what rate the amount of salt is changing in the tank right so dy by dt it is the rate at which the amount of salt changes in the water or in the tank this is nothing but the mixture the rate at which it is nothing but the rate at which salt comes in many times it is also called as an inflow rate this is the rate inflow inflow rate minus the outflow rate what is the outflow rate the rate at which the amount of salt goes out so when i do the subtraction the rate of inflow minus the rate of outflow that will give me the rate of change of salt in the tank so this is what my dy by dt is now let's try to find the inflow rate and let's try to find the outflow rate and then we will substitute the value so let me call this as my equation one now let's find both the values so let us find the inflow rate so i know that per minute 10 gallons of water 10 gallons per minute is coming in from the inflow pipe and per gallon contain how much amount of salt 5 pounds so 5 pound of salt per gallon right so per gallon 5 pound so for 10 gallons how many pound 5 pound okay so like you can also see 
फाइव टेन जो इज नथिंग बट फिफ्टी पाउंड पर मिनट सो एट वॉट रेट सॉल्ट इज कमिंग इन सॉल्ट इज कमिंग इन एट द रेट ऑफ फिफ्टी पाउंड पर मिनट ओके गुड नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड द आउट फ्लो रेट एट वॉट रेट द सॉल्ट इज गोइंग आउट सो हाउ मच मिक्सचर इज गोइंग आउट टेन गैलेंस पर मिनिट टेन गैलेंस इज गोइंग आउट एंड इन ईच गैलेन वॉट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्ट प्रेजेंट सो फॉर दैट सी द टैंक कंटेन्स थाउजेंड गैलेंस ऑफ वॉटर or i will say mixture now okay it contains 1000 gallons of mixture and what is the amount of salt present y of t is the amount of salt present in the tank okay so how much amount of salt will be present in 1 gallon of water so if this is my x suppose then what is my x you simply cross multiplication it is nothing but y of t upon 1000 so that is the amount of salt present per gallon so For thousand gallon, y t amount of salt is present. So per gallon, how much will be salt? You simply divide, right? So y upon thousand pound per gallon. This is the amount of salt present per gallon. And again, you can see the gallon units cancel away. So this is nothing but one zero goes away. One by hundred. So zero point zero one y pounds per minute. so per minute 0.01 times y this much amount of salt is going out great so we got the inflow rate and we also got the outflow rate so what do we have if we put this values in equation 1 what is our dy by dt it is 50 minus 0.01 times y now you can see this is a linear differential equation so you can solve this using that method if you don't know then also is fine this is you can see it is this can be done using variable separable so let's try to solve this using variable separable method so here you have to here the variables are y and t so you have to separate those variables so you have dy upon 50 minus 0.01y equals dt once you separate you simply integrate this is ln of 50 minus 0.01y upon minus 0.01 equal to t plus d some constant d so this is ln of this will go there so this is this into minus 0.01 and when i take exponential so this is 50 minus 0.01 y is e raised to minus 0.01 t plus d but then e raised to d i am calling as some constant say c doesn't matter because d is constant so this is what i have so my y will be 50 minus c e raised to minus 0.01t so here it is 0.01 and now when i divide by 0.01 this is what i get and when you solve this you get y is equal to if i separate this this is 50, 1 upon 0.01 is 100 so 5000 minus 100 c e raised to minus 0.01t and if you do the calculation further what is given to us initially 100 pound of salt is present so when you put t equal to 0 this is y of t right so y of 0 is 100 5000 minus 100 c e raised to 0 is 1 so if i do the calculation 100 c is 4900 so 100 c is 4900 so if i put this value over here 100 c is 4900 so this is what i have so now given any time you put the value of t you put the value of t over here you get the amount of salt present in that tank right to take t equal to 0 you get 100 you put t equal to 1 you get some answer and as t increases it keeps on going you can see the upper bound as t goes to infinity you have minus sign so this term will be 0 so the maximum amount of salt it can have is 5000 okay so it will never go beyond 5000 so that's how you are supposed to solve the tank problem the rate of change is nothing but inflow rate minus outflow rate so simply find inflow rate find outflow rate subtract solve the differential equation you get the answer so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if everything is clear then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you